This is First Alert Weather. All right, snow is going to be the big weather story as uh, we begin this work week. Of course, we've been talking about it all weekend and it is uh, here and taking a look at our travel impacts for the morning hours, a little bit higher impacts in our northwestern communities of this morning and then uh, by the afternoon still in our northwestern communities, but it gets a little bit more widespread. So uh, bottom line is everyone will have some impacts, but yes, relatively speaking, the higher impacts will be for our northern and western communities this is where the winter storm warning is in effect compared to the rest of us who are in a winter weather advisory. So here's a look at our Capital Federal Live Storm Tracker showing this precipitation mainly for areas south of I-70 and in our western communities and continue to push to the north. So we'll start to see this precipitation and become more widespread. Now temperatures are above freezing. So even if it is coming down as uh, some snow, it is going to be limited on how much is able to accumulate until some colder air moves in later on this morning and through the afternoon. 38 right now in Concordia with temperatures uh, down to 24 in Holton 22 in Hiawatha, so some colder temperatures there. Well, these are wind chills, by the way. Let's uh, try and find those uh, temperatures, but uh, there's a look at uh, wind chills early this morning. Everyone is generally in the mid 30s around 44 temperatures. We'll get those temperatures back up, but uh, everyone is above uh, freezing, so uh, that's why that's going to limit how much it's able to accumulate at least initially early this morning. East southeast wind at about 5 to 15 miles per hour. Wind is going to be a concern with the storm system. In fact, uh, it's going to be fairly breezy for today. We'll call it today breezy and then especially after midnight tonight as the cold front pushes through the area, we do start to usher in those north northwesterly winds after midnight sustained 20 to 30 miles per hour. So it does turn windy late tonight and continues into tomorrow where the winds uh, will continue to be sustained 20 to 25 miles per hour. Hour. During this time, we could be talking about wind gusts between 40 and 50 miles per hour. I would not be surprised if a wind advisory was issued for tomorrow and uh, we'll continue with those winds until it finally weakens once again into the evening hours. And so while we're not going to get a whole lot of new snow tomorrow, at least the snow will be fairly light, especially in the morning compared to today and tonight. There is going to still be a concern with that blowing snow, uh, of course, uh, through the day. So temperatures today pretty much where we're at right now for high temperatures, gradually cooling down throughout the afternoon and then stuck in the 20s to low 30s and below freezing for tomorrow. It is going to be a fairly chilly week. It does warm up just a little bit for midweek on Wednesday. Of course, uh, the fresh layer of snow on the ground will limit how warm it is able to get. In the meantime, wide look at the satellite where to composite with the storm system. You can see it uh, quickly uh, increase with the amount of precipitation that uh, has just recently developed and we will continue with the uh, precipitation uh, through the uh, day today and eventually changing over to all snow by this afternoon and we'll continue with the precipitation all the way through tomorrow morning before winding down by that midday and we actually could see a little bit of late day sun, especially as the clouds decrease from west to east. And so I still think higher snowfall totals will be in zone one where about five to 10 inches is expected with uh, mainly all snow, especially here in the next couple of hours as we usher in some colder air and then further down to the south you go, the lesser amounts just because of that uh, better chance of that rain snow mix lingering a little bit longer and of course the warmer air of lingering a little bit longer. But bottom line is it uh, will be a mess over these next couple days out on the roadways, especially as those winds begin to pick up, especially late tonight into tomorrow morning. And so uh, we really got to be careful out on the roadways over these next couple of days. We'll be dry for Wednesday. I think most of Wednesday, uh, Thursday as well before our next storm system comes in this time with an Arctic front and uh, that'll send us down into the uh, teens and single digits for highs towards the weekend and early.